Don Hunt Memorial Challenge Series featuring the Leah Valley Conference baseball teams continues this afternoon live from Coca-Cola Park in Allentown's east side. It's the Parkland Trojans undefeated through five games on the season, taking on the Whitehall Zephyrs, beaten once in their first eight games of the season. A very pleasant good afternoon, and welcome back to Coca-Cola Park. Mike Zambelli joined by Mike Brusco as we get a look at Tony Galusi, the 11th year skipper of the Parkland Trojans, 5-0 and on the year three. The bat for their first plate appearance. Matt Bonchak will lead things off, the center fielder. Jake Wolcheski is in left field. Elliot Mortimer, the pitcher, bats third. Jeff Charles, the third baseman, bats cleanup. Zach Delp with Tyler Bridgewood, the designated hitter for Jake Myers, the shortstop. John Winter is in right field. Ryan Bounchak, the catcher, bats eighth. Tyler Sweeney batting in the number nine spot. They'll face the right hand throwing Gabe Moser. Moser making his league championship coming in 2011. 2009 team made it to the state championship game, finishing runner up. Chopper left side, this is Charles. Takes his time, sets and fires, two up and two down. And then that time Mortimer comes back with the fastball and Schneck really just unable to make good contact on it. Charles, a great, just come in nice and easy, get the, you know, the easy hop and take your time with the throw. No need to rush that. He's not afraid to play to you know pitch the contact and, and there he gets his first strike out of the game. Well, if there were any nerves to start with, he's certainly shaking them off. Vasilek with a bunt. They'll have no chance to get the speedy Vasilek down the first baseline. He's aboard for the second time in the game. You can't do it a whole lot better than that for Vasilek, you know, down the third baseline, uh, and he just really caught Jeff Charles off guard. You know, Charles came in and fielded it as quickly as he could, but Vasilek, he's got wheels and it's just a perfectly placed bunt. That combination is is almost guaranteed to hit. At, at every position that we've seen out there so far, and, and zero errors in the game thus far for either team. So pretty clean defensive effort. Sharply hit, and there's another gem for the Trojans. Jeff Charles at third base, it remains one to nothing Whitehall. Zephyrs with a run in the first inning have made it stand up and they have done so by playing great defense. We showed you one package already. How about Whitehall defense part two, the nice play by third baseman Jeff Charles. And then with the Trojans. Football a lot, you know, Connor Shaw, who was their starter last year, not really your prototype passer. Uh, and Nasovich, I think, can offer something uh, in, that, in that phase of the game. Mortimer gets another nice effort from his third baseman, Jeff Charles, a 1-2-3 inning. Does that mean lead at one? And Rabasco was just way out in front of it and, and just off balance. Mortimer looking for his third win. What a play by Charles. Does he have the arm? And Delp just couldn't come up with a one-hop throw. A terrific effort by Charles. It'll be a base hit all the way, and the Trojans have the tying run aboard. There were a lot of really good things on that play. Certainly the initial stop by Charles. Delp couldn't scoop it, but Bonshack was running down the first baseline. He backed that play up, and two things really there stopped Grafe from advancing to second. That was the initial stop by Charles, and then Bonchak in. Now, if Charles doesn't make that play, that's rolling into the corner, and I imagine that Grafe is going to be on second base and be in scoring position. So they keep him on first with one out. They have been called straight through. Payoff pitch to Offlerbach is in there for cold strike three, and the Zephyrs will win it on a complete game effort by right-hander Elliot Mortimer. Well, that was it, and you know, it's, it's tough. He froze him with the curveball, and, and at the top of the broadcast, we talked about being Mortimer's top 
And his number one pitch, his go-to pitch, his strikeout pitch. And we saw it right there. And, you know, he just throws off Rebach. And you get another good look at it. Look, at just hook back in. That one clearly catches the outside corner. Um, outstanding performance from Mortimer, really, to go, to, go the distance and five-hit shutout for Mortimer. He improves to 3-0 and on the year, while the loss will be the first suffered by Moser. One to nothing, your final, the Zephyrs eight and one on the year, the Trojans five and one. Zephyrs improved to four and one in league play. Parkland falls to three and one. Dave Donio, our director and producer on behalf of Mike Brusco and all of us here at TV2 Sports, game number two, or game two of four of them here this afternoon in the books. We'll return here for Allen and Deeroff. I'm Mike Zambelli. Thanks for watching Leah Valley Conference Baseball. Stay with us.